past couple times we, we started working, we did the um, same side uh, knee through, springboard, come back, we did our door stops, we went through our little combinations here, okay? And then we talked about the, the reap, the big no-no, throw the leg over, okay? We're under with the triangles and all these fun little details here. Shkadoush. So what we're gonna look at today is a little more um, common position, um, the very legal position, okay? So it's one of those weird things where uh, IBJJF making this normal thing illegal kind of advanced leg locks a little bit because everybody had to start going the exact opposite way of the reap and sitting this way, which kind of used to be known as the wrong way, okay? So it was like, well, how do we do the wrong way but make it work? And it actually kind of elevated the leg lock game in a sense, okay? So what this looks like is we'll do the same setup every time for right now, okay? It's the same side knee over. Whoa. She shin shields, I springboard back, I hit my catch, and now I'm gonna sit, and what, what I always say is, heel to hip, knee to heel, okay? Heel to hip, knee to heel, all right? I don't personally like bringing this foot over and clamping, a lot of people do this, it works great for them. The reason I don't like this is it exposes my heel here and they can start pulling my foot out to attack my ankles and stuff, okay? So I like, keeping my foot hidden behind this leg over here and pinching that knee down. Closes this off, that's her escape route, okay? So this is open, she can escape that way. This is closed, she has to work a lot harder to get out of there, okay? Makes sense? So, same thing. Boom, I go, she's uh, shin shield, I springboard back. Boom, heel to hip, knee to heel. And now we're just gonna do our normal uh, straight ankle lock, okay? So everything's the same, guys. I wanna make sure I get my arm, whether it be the blade of my wrist or that little divot there. Catch right on her Achilles, okay? So I catch it, same position, guys. My hand comes down, roll those shoulders up, elbows in, but the trick here is don't lay on the outside or the point of my elbow. I want to lay on, well, I guess don't lay on the point of my elbow. I want to lay on the outside of my elbow. So if you need to, you can even almost go peck down and then rock back. <laughs> so what, what's happening here is we call it tacoing the foot. I'm smushing her foot between my, uh, my upper arm and my ribs here. So I'm literally just crushing her foot like this. Okay, I'm using my body weight on it. Catch, heel to hip, knee to heel. I didn't even go yet. Oh my. <laughs> I got okay. it in competition. And then rock. So that hurts. Roll the shoulders. And now look guys, if you wanna arch, don't just arch your head, okay? Don't just move your head. Make sure my hands and my head travel together and also engage your hips, just like you're doing an arm bar, okay? A lot of people forget to engage the hips, but it's in my hips. Good, kind of easy. So I slide, I catch, heel to hip, knee to heel, okay? This is a good angle. Look at the foot here, guys. If I'm up on my elbow, there's nothing crushing this foot, okay? So go like peck down and then rock it up. And you should feel her foot being crushed in there. She feels it. Okay, and then we just finish all the rest of the stuff. I'm trying to, trying to lighten up on it, but all the rest of the stuff. Roll those shoulders back, engage the lats. Boom, okay. Cool, and just think about like, when I say hips in, engage your hips just like an arm bar. I'm doing this, okay? Whoosh. Just see how far her foot is away. So I've got it. So I'm engaging my hips. And then I'm also cranking that. But my hands and head travel together. 
Chin shield comes in, springboard back. This arm catches, so make sure you like, as you slide back, boom, I'm catching in that Achilles. Heel to hip, knee to heel, bink. Okay, so this is kind of my, the position I'm looking at getting, and now I finish. So roll the shoulders back, pinch that elbow in nice and tight, engage the hips, stretch the head back. Look, so I put my gi on. I'm gonna show you this little variation and then we'll kind of move on. Um, so a couple things. Remember I said like one of my, one of my main rules, well my main rule, <laughs> when I'm sitting back, so I like to get my catch. More important than my catch is that I hide my feet, okay? So heel to hip, knee to heel. She cannot attack either one of my feet at this point, okay? She's not in a good spot to do it. There are some, there's always some. And that's kind of the danger of leg locks. When I enter into a leg lock position, she can attack my legs at some point, okay? Or she's close to a leg attack. So make sure I hide my feet. One of the absolute biggest mistakes I see people make when they first start doing leg locks is they go like this. <laughs> and their feet are just, yeah, feet flying and yeah, she either passes or she grabs my leg and rips it off, okay? And the reason that happens a lot is because, number one, if you do that, you don't know what you're doing. But number two, when I attack a leg, she's automatically on defense. And then I'm over here doing all this crap where I'm not paying attention because I'm trying to leg lock her. She grabs my leg. So she defended the foot lock first and attacked second, right? I attacked first and defended second. So technically, if she's already defended, she's deeper, all right? And my leg position here is not as good. So go ahead and lock it up. I mean, I'm still gonna win this, but her leg here, she can kick her leg through and defend that. Kick your leg through. Yeah, so we call it putting the boot on. I actually can't kick my leg through because my leg is going up and over her leg, okay? So it's not to say I can't get it. I may be stronger than Liz, maybe, but Play games, do it. Let's just go for it. Ready? Go. Also, leg locks don't work on me at all. That's not true. Why are you, why are you trying to hurt me? This? Okay. So, if I just get sloppy and I go for it, and I'm out here like digging, she's already cranking on my foot. Okay? So, you have to protect your feet first and foremost. Look, I want to show you this little variation just with the gi, because we're all wearing gis. This is 100% legal, all tournaments, white through. Black belt, okay? So everything's the same, boom. Heel to hip, knee to heel. Let's check this out. I was talking about like these different grips. So I see some people reaching under the hand and pulling up. I'm okay with that, it keeps the elbows tight. I still like the original just going here, okay? I used to figure four a lot, but then you have to like try to roll that one over to get the blade in. So this one is just, it's the one I like the most, okay? But with a gi on, I can always take advantage of having these lapels. So I can actually do like a crunch inward and feed my cross side lapel to that hand, okay? So now as I'm attacking, I can use this hand if she's trying to reach up and I can push her hands away, I can block her foot, I can even control this other one and I, I'm still attached to myself, okay? But one of the other cool things here is if she is able to get to this collar, she can kind of pull herself up. Yeah, if she's able to get that collar, she can fight this, yeah, keep me from arching, doing all this stuff, right? Okay. So check this out, whoop. So I sit in, whoop, I bend in, I grab it. Now I just cross this hand over and block my other one, okay? Now grab and defend. Okay, reach. Grab something, what you gonna grab? Probably your yeah, Okay, so I can, I can like just cover all my bases in here and this arm kind of comes over the top of this arm just to make my grip even stronger, okay? Don't choke yourself out. <laughs> you know, they're like, they're like, I got the foot lock. <sighs> mm, she's got some magic technique. She's got some magic foot lock defense technique and I'm, I'm fading, I'm, I'm choking myself pretty good right now. Okay, so get it in, duck into it, boom, and then just bring this over 
just a block, just a, and this hand can always let go and push and do stuff. All right, one more time. So everything's the same. Well, get in, get my catch. Heel to hip, knee to heel. This time I'm gonna tuck in, grab, come across here, boom. And then we go. Focus on keeping this closed. Good connection there, okay? Bing. Heel to hip, knee to heel. Let's say, uh, heel hooks are legal, okay? So I can do heel hooks. This is still a really good position, okay? Um, it leads right into that reap that we talked about. So I can just reap over, boom, transition to my heel hook. Or I can go here. I can, it's hard to see, but I can open this arm up, kind of throw it back here. Okay, not all the way back, but I just open it up, I push it back, and then when it comes back toward me, I have the heel. Okay, so all I'm doing there, just do it from here so you can see it, is I'm in my normal leg lock position, my ankle lock, I kick this arm back, and I just bring it back up. It's like a magic trick. It just exposes the heel, because I'm so tight on her toes, when I open that, See, see how naturally her, her heel pops out a little bit? Boop. And then there's my heel hook, and we can do any variation you like. I like this one. Whoosh. Okay. And if heel hooks are legal, we can finish here, or I can just finish exactly where I'm at. Uh, boop. Open it. Catch it. Her escape, she's gonna, she has to turn that way. That leg here is still stopping her from turning. Okay, so works just as well. Wow. Good. So we're not gonna drill that at all, but just, just kind of showing it for you. You guys doing all the big Abu Dhabi tournaments and pro, fighting pro MMA and whatnot. All you YouTubers, white belt, white belt YouTubers. No, <laughs> don't go there. All right, so here's our drill. This is just a connectivity drill, okay? So remember, heel to hip, knee to heel. So go ahead and keep the leg, but don't crank, the, don't crank on it. Heel to hip, knee to heel. My whole goal here, guys, is to keep that connected, all right? And not to let this foot randomly come out and drop my feet, okay? Roll. Roll. Okay. Boop, boop. Roll the other way. Boop. If we're rolling and I'm like, <laughs> just reset, okay? But as you're going and you find yourself starting to lose your positioning, settle back in, okay? You can, you can adjust the legs, adjust your hips, okay? If I'm way out here and my leg's up here, bring my hips back in, okay? Just bring my butt closer. Heel to hip, knee to heel. Cool? Easy? You're not trying to attack the foot the whole time. You're just, just holding. Let's get yourself in a position to roll. I might even have to help her roll, okay? So she goes to roll. Just, just help. Okay, so we'll go one way down the mat, and then we'll go the other way. Good. Put cramp. Uh. All right. Hot air up, guys. Open. One, two, three.